Alright, so there's a brand new update in Roblox Driving Empire and we have four new McLarens. Alright, so now let's go to the dealership right now. Alright, so I'm on the dealership right now and we're gonna go to the new vehicles. Alright, so we have four new McLarens. So in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the collection cars, alright, which is right over here. So this is the 2022 McLaren Artara GT4, alright. And no open asking. How do you get the collection card? Well, obviously, some of you guys, all right? Some people know, some people don't. So, if you know how to get the collection card, I'm sure you guys know. If you don't know how to get the collection card, so basically, you might want to go to collection over here and click McLaren's, all right? And you got to scroll all the way down, and you must own six McLaren's in order to get this card right here. So, I have the Speedtail, P1, and the Senna. So you must get 2016 McLaren 675 LT Spider and the 2020 McLaren 720 S Spider. So I can buy it technically. Let's buy that and let's buy this. And stay tuned for the next video because I'm going to review the other three McLarens. All right, so stay tuned for that. So there we go. McLaren open collection and claim the rewards. There we go. Perfect. Now we have this McLaren. Now let's hear the startup and let's see the detail and the interiors. Okay, the startup is kind of alright, but the rev is pretty good. I like the sound. Alright, not too shabby. And now we can open the doors over here. Pretty cool. Yup. And the back trunk. No, the front trunk. No, you cannot. Alright. Free camera time. All right, so we have the nice looking McLaren on this car right here. Oh my God, look at this. Yo, that's pretty neat. Look at this. Just like the McLaren Ultra. Yup, pretty neat. I actually like this car. The look is amazing, dude. Look at this. It's amazing. We have the pretty neat detail over here. Pretty cool. Yup, we have the engines over here. Yup, 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 yup. All right, Um, this guy just kind of blocking away. But uh, anyways... Uh, we have the pole and the gas carbon fibers. Oh, yeah, the interiors. Look at this. The speedometers, the steering wheels, and the button. Just like track car experience, you know? Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is a good car right here. All right. And this is one seater. Oh, pretty cool. It's very light. <laughs> All right, now let's do a dry race. You know what's so funny? Like when driving in Pirates sneak peek. They show about like four new McLarens. I thought they're gonna add the McLaren W1, but they did it. All right. All right. Here we go. In three, two, one, and boom. Okay, pretty solid acceleration. And the last control is pretty decent. And we got 8.2 seconds. Now let's fully upgrade on this car. Let's go. All right. Performance scene. Engines raise engine for fifty-one thousand dollars. Okay, not too shabby. Aspiration quad turbo forty-five thousand. All right, there we go. Brake race brake twenty-seven thousand. Okay, it's pretty cheap in my opinion. Uh, race tire thirty thousand. Okay, now trans premium boots. Install this and upgrade this bad boy. There we go. And drivetrain is rear wheel drive. So let's put all wheel drive. Oh yeah. So everything should be all set. All right. So based on the vehicle status, with fully mass upgrade is 257 miles per hour, 73% acceleration, 56% handling, and 86% of braking. Okay. The acceleration and the braking is pretty good, but the handling, I mean, it could be good. All right. It could be. Yeah, watch till the end to see if it's worth it or not. Alright, so for the appearance scene, this might take some time. Okay, so I fully customized on this car. Oh my goodness, look at this. The green color, yo, is amazing on this McLaren. Oh my goodness. I'm actually loving this, not gonna lie. Yo, and I changed it to the red, the rims, yep, and the calipers, obviously, is pretty neat. And the interior is fully carbon fibers, nothing changed, just black. I love it. It's amazing, dude. Oh my goodness. And obviously, this car is made for a racetrack. All right. So now let's do a dry race. All right. Here we go. The fully mass upgrade on this car in three, two, one, and boom. Oh, look at the acceleration. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. And we got 5.6 seconds. Okay. This car might be a little bit OP, but I don't know. Let's do a circus race and we're going to fast forward. 
to see if this is really good with the Henley. All right, so let's go. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this car, dang, it's kind of pretty OP though. We got 2 minutes and 58 seconds, but I know the handling is not pretty good, but I say it's pretty decent, all right? The acceleration and the handling together, not the best, but you need to brake and then turn. So it's pretty good if you brake and turn. So obviously this car might be a little bit OP, might be a little bit OP, all right? Might. <laughs> I don't want the people get any misinformation about it. I said it might be a little bit OP. Um, this car, in my opinion, I would say it's pretty good and it's kind of very quick. It had really good acceleration, really good braking, and the handling, I would say pretty solid, like around 7 out of 10 for sure for the handling. And yeah, the looks is amazing. I actually love the looks. Yeah, and I would say I would rate this car like... 8.4 out of 10 for sure like no joke i love the looks i love the acceleration the handling and the braking all right it's pretty good i love it in my opinion and i would say this car is made for a collection car so i would say keep it as a car collection even though you know you have to get six mclaren in order to get this car so that seems a lot of work though <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, um, that's pretty much it, and yeah, um, that's it for the video. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, but so you miss any of my entertaining content. So yeah, catch you guys in the next one.